Hi there, I'm Kim from the East Sussex Careers Hub. Today, as part of Digital Open Doors, we're going to finally be learning about my job and working from home. So I am a project officer for the Careers Hub at East Sussex County Council. Hopefully you've heard of the Careers Hub. We interact with all your careers leaders and work with every single secondary school, college and many primary schools in East Sussex. East Sussex County Council is one of the county's largest employers and currently employs over 5,000 people. So you may not think that you're going to work for them, as I once did, but you may end up working for the council. If you have an interest in anything, ranging from archaeology to social care, there's finance, there's health, there's anything, basically, then there's a role for you at the county council. We have roles for all ages and the county council is a really fantastic place to start your career. I myself started as an intern three years ago and I'm now a project officer. If you're not interested in working in office or, like me, your kitchen table, there are roles at the County Council that aren't always based in an office. You could be working in a hospital or a school or a care home. Now, usually as part of Digital Open Doors, I take you around the workplace. As you can see, my workplace is my kitchen. Many businesses have now closed their offices full time to save money and a lot of us are working from our dining tables, from our bedrooms and tea trays on the sofa. This does come with a lot of benefits as well as negatives. Personally, for me, my commute was cut down from two hours to two minutes, just downstairs. I have more time to rest, I make breakfast and a hot coffee in the morning and I don't have to worry that I'm going to miss a train. I can water my plants. I can make nutritious lunches that are actually warm without making them in a microwave. And I take mindful minutes to myself without worrying that Terry from across the room is watching me. Of course there are negatives. I miss seeing my team face to face. I find it helpful to hide my laptop at the end of the day so I do not have to look at and worry about emails, which would not happen when in the office I had my locker and I could put my laptop away at the end of the day and leave far away from the office. When working from home, it is important to stick to a routine still. You've still got to, as I said, keep in that mind space that you are working and it is working time. So as you can see, I get dressed, I'm wearing a shirt. However, there are some differences. My hair would probably be more done if I was in the office and I've not ironed a shirt since late 2019. I'm going to show you my outfit now because there are a few differences. I am wearing some work trousers. However, I do have some fluffy slippers on because that would be going a little bit too far if I was wearing work shoes too let's be honest. Another change for me is that I don't do as much walking as I used to do. I used to do around 10,000 steps a day as part of my commute and now especially now that it's winter I struggle to do that. However the team and the business are very good at the council they recommend that you do still go for walks so I try to get 20 minutes a day people in our team still do their commute and they walk around the block and then go to sit down in our office and do the same thing at the end of the day shutting the laptop and going for a little walk again to change that headspace from work mode to home mode and here is my workspace you can see my work laptop a full pint of water because hydration is important now i personally like listening to podcasts whilst i work this is a very good history one because learning never ends students I have my work phone, which is great for people to contact me. I also have my organisation, which is so helpful. This is a bullet planner. I put the dates in and then important meetings, things to do. You can see my main ones are do this video, go for a walk, yoga, read, meditate. Uh, I usually will have meetings in there. <laughs> and then this is what I wrote down for all my notes when I have meetings. And I also have a book that I read during my little breaks. And usually I have a big cup of coffee. So now to show you the rest of my exciting workplace. A hoover, a fridge, snacks, cornflakes, an oven, a sink, a window where I stare outside and imagine the world going past. Not much is going on today, guys. So, what do I do where I don't have to leave my house? I'm a project officer, which is one of those roles that might not make much sense to you if you've not come across me. So, I do run projects and I create projects. I've been running digital open doors from the comfort of my home, and I'm sure you've all been watching those videos. Yeah? Okay, great. <laughs> 
I was initially hired to run Open Doors, so if you have gone on the physical visit before, I'm the one that talks to businesses, gets them to sign up to it, and helps you and the school kind of organise the actual date and the details. I can do that all through emails, phone calls, and as well, one thing that's very good with this year is video calls. I've been on a lot of video meetings, virtual meetings there. It's very handy, and especially in the age when you aren't in the office and you cannot talk to your colleagues, it's fantastic to utilise the way of communication and find what suits you best. Emails are fine, but sometimes it's so nice to actually just see somebody's face and feel like you are talking to them in person. So I can work from home a lot of the time. The only time I've left the office in the past year is to actually go out and film those digital open doors videos. And even then, I've only been out half the day. So I also do a lot other than basic project work. I also do a lot of admin for my team. I can take minutes, I can organize events. I can write a lot of emails, so you've got to make sure your writing skills are on point, which comes back to English, very important guys. I handle a lot of the finance for our team, so again, math skills are very important, these things you can't forget. Another thing that's really important in my role is creativity. When I design these projects, I've got to think of all the possibilities that could happen. How do I want it to look, but also who is it going to be for and what's something new and innovative that I can do? For instance, right now I'm making booklets and where I'm filming, that's always creative and that's designing and kind of like engaging those art skills I used to use at school a lot more. Also decision making and being able to sign off something and say yes to that and no to that and how to plan your day is really important. So I studied classics and museum management at university. I have two degrees, so I've got quite an academic background, which was really helpful in, you know, not just communicating through learning English and how to write, but also research skills. And especially in something like history and classics, you have to be very good at recognizing good sources and kind of like reading between the lines. And so don't let people tell you that you can't do anything with a history degree. Okay. Mm. There are a lot of roles, however, other than mine, where you can work from home. If ever you've been to a hostel on holiday, you're more than likely to have come into contact with somebody working away on their laptop, whose actually role is to work from home full time, so they take advantage of it and work wherever they want in the world. How amazing does that sound? Mm. So those people tend to work in IT or digital marketing, a lot where it's fully online. And there are a lot of roles like that, and we've talked to more people who work from home solely as part of this working from home project. So skills, well for working from home, I think obviously timekeeping and organisation are a big one. As you've seen in my little desk kitchen tour, I have my bullet journal, I have my to-do list, and you can still do that on your laptop. I'm just, I just like something physical. I think it's good for you to figure out if you like writing down things like me, or if you can keep them all on the laptop, also fantastic skills other than organisation, teamwork, you may not think it because I'm literally by myself but having a good team and also working well with your team is so important because because that communication is so more likely to fall apart when you cannot hear this person or see them. So communication and teamwork and organisation are really key for when you're working from home because you cannot isolate yourself. So that's me and my workspace. I hope you enjoyed learning about working from home and what it's like to be a project officer. I look forward to seeing you at the next Digital Open Doors video. Bye!